good morning students today we will discuss about the immobilization of whole cells the last class we have discussed about the biocatalyst biocatalysts are living organisms which will enhance the rate of the reaction of a chemical reaction in a biochemical reactor or a living body example for biocatalysts are yeast and bacteria so today we will throw some lights on immobilization of whole cells so now you can ask me what is immobilization why it is necessary how it can be carried out so before that i like to give a introduction brief introduction about ethanol fermentation so ethanol is fermented from molasses using the yeast the yeast is a single cell microorganism which consists of invertase and gymase or the enzymes the invertase which acts on sucrose and converts the sucrose into glucose and fructose then the glucose is converted by gymase into ethanol and carbon dioxide as soon as the reaction is over the yeast has to be recovered from the reaction system but in actual practice the fermentations are carried out in a large reacting vessels since the yeast is a low dense material and is highly soluble in water it is very difficult to recover and regenerate for for the use the most of the yeast will go along with the product therefore the cell wash out will be more and also we have to use a recent technology like ultra filtration or hydrocyclation to remove the yeast from the biomass so to in order to overcome this bottleneck what we are doing is we are mixing the yeast with calcium alginate so it is calcium alginate and finally it is formed as a water insoluble material and also the density of the is also increase therefore it cannot move along with the product it can be easily removed by sedimentation or filtration so this process of converting the soluble microorganism into insoluble material and increase the density is called immobilization coming back to the title what is immobilization it may be defined as the process in which the mobility of a cell in space is completely or partially restricted and resulting in a water insoluble form or restriction of catalytic activity of a cell within the restricted region of a bioreactor the example for naturally immobilized cell is during the decay of animals and plants the microorganisms are released and it is absorbed by soil soil materials so this is a good example for natural immobilization also the nitrifying bacteria is a good example for natural immobilization then why immobilization so due to the immobilization it is easy to recovery we are arresting the mobility of the enzymes mobility of the enzymes or cells so it can be easily removed by sedimentation and also it reduce the cost of operation of the ethanol fermentation and also it increase the volumetric productivity to increase the product concentration in the outlet stream and to increase the shelf life of the catalyst the next the methods of immobilization immobilization can be carried out in four different ways one is attachment to a surface or absorption entrapment within a porous matrix containment behind a barrier and self aggregation so attachment is nothing but it is absorption process some microorganisms are absorbed on wood materials or some matrices so entrapment within a porous matrix it involves some polymers to encapsulate the microorganisms to arrest its mobility containment behind a barrier means the microorganisms are support on a porous materials like glass beads bricks and ceramic balls self aggregation is the flocculation of enzymes to increase the density of the microorganisms so next outcome 
so in the next class we will discuss about the detailed description of the immobilization technique i hope all of you understand the concept of the immobilization cell technology this will be able to apply the concept of immobilized cell technology in biocatalyst chemical reaction in your project thank you